Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Yes. And tonight we do have the newest Atari games mm -hmm. because tonight we have Muddy Funster's brand new game on the 7800. Oh, it's already up. <laughs> <laughs> already there. Yes. A secret new homebrew. Excellent. Not been revealed to anyone. Nice. So we have the world debut of his new game. Very exciting. I don't think I've even told you about it. I don't think, think so. you have. No. I have no idea what it is either. It's going to be a surprise keep her in the dark, to me too. So Sark Stars! Yay! Sark Stars t-shirt. 7800! Atari! Yay! Yay! We're all wearing our t-shirts today. We're all on theme. <laughs> and then after uh, the exclusive world debut of Muddy Funster's okay. game, we're going to be playing the retail version of Time Salvo oh, cool. by Rev N. Nice. And we've played nice. this before. It's super fun. It's a twin stick shooter okay. in a maze. You know the grid pattern? Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yep. Yeah, it's I know this It's super one. fun. And uh, yeah, I got times. this in the recent really? kind of mailing. Yeah. Uh, last Atari Age delivery. I love the so, artwork on the front. Yes. Really and, nice stylized. Uh, we'll get to something about the artwork oh, a little really? bit later. Oh, really? Excellent. Oh, yes. there goes the cat. Oh, there goes the cat. Oh, he's so excited. So welcome, everyone, to this very special show. And the last show before we take a little break. Yeah. Um, and we go away and then we come back. Slight like vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, we'll talk sure about one. the vacation. Maybe after. Maybe after. Yeah. After. Yes. We can talk Not about right the vacation. Now. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. <laughs> S. Ramirez is not wearing anything. Mm. Uh, uh, who are scrolling down beside Tanya, Apit Swami, Alan the Fur, Arms Guard, Coder, Atari, HBR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Dan, if you see Daryl, 1970, Dave the Daring, Drexel, Dr. Mook has Fox Mulder, Great Fender, Grown, Chupo, Roger, Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Grocco, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Space, Egg, Mental Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonny, Whip, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Bocal, Aaron, Deco, Pack, Rack, Quahog, Aaron, Schwitz, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Printless, VG, Ricardo, M6 Sweet, Spar Smitty B, Spartan, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, the D10, Wellsman, Tiki Dan K, Team Events, Trek, MDX, Ken X, and before the show, Muddy Funster and Arms Car Coder. Oh, thank you. Resubscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Muddy <clears throat> Funster with 28 months. Wow. Arms Car Coder with 21 months. Wow. I don't understand those numbers. Yeah. If you want your name on there, just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon yeah. Prime. Yes. No, I was going to say, I only have 19 months and I'm on this show, so I, know. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> took me a while to late, figure out how to subscribe. Late to the game. Yeah, I was late to the game. <laughs> That's okay. Better late than never. Oh, well. Um, we do have a poll question. Kind of meta. But that's okay. Sometimes like meta the questions. Sometimes the questions are a little bit meta. So I know some people, <laughs> while watching the show, some people program, like work on the program, because yeah. a lot of developers watch it. the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, or fix consoles yeah. in terms of ITC. Uh, he works on consoles a lot uh, yeah. um, during the show. Um, uh, or just have it on a, another screen in the background just mm. in while they're doing something else, whatever they're doing. Um, so I was wondering, what do you watch ZPH on primarily? Mm. Like what device, what type of screen? Yeah, yeah. Um, and the options are on a TV. Yeah. Like old casting. school, old school TV through an app or casting like on a normal TV, TV. not monitor. Yeah. Not through a computer. Or number two. A computer, because mm. you can have it side by side while you're mm -hmm. programming or in the corner or something. Uh, on a phone or a tablet, you know, oh, yeah. tiny little device, mm -hmm. uh, portable device, or a video game console. Mm -hmm. Some of them have Twitch mm -hmm. plugins. Yep. Yeah. Twitch yeah. apps. I don't know which ones. Some of them do. Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched any Twitch on console. I remember a console. using YouTube, not Twitch on YouTube. On, yeah. YouTube often ends up on them, but yeah. Um, or other. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> but uh, that's usually where, where people yeah, watch I, the content. I, yeah. Yeah. So be just I see a lot of twos, and that doesn't surprise me because yeah. I think a lot of people are multitasking, right? They're programmers. They play the games on Aww. emulators. I like RC70's comment, but full screen, I never multitask on <laughs> ZPH. It's too important. Your full attention I don't know is necessary. If, I don't know if that's a, little, a hint of sarcasm in there. <laughs> but, um, it could be. What did he vote? Two. Two. No, oh, okay. Two. Yeah, it's yeah. on the computer. Uh, okay. No, I, I, the poll is not on the screen. Oh, what is remember going we on? took it off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This, this uh, relates back to the last show. Um, 
We do cast a lot go. to our TV when we watch stuff. Yes. Um, and when I'm getting ready for the show or doing other work, I I have multiple monitors, so I I put it in the other corner, like yeah. other people's streams. Like I watched Dr. Moo Cow's stream the other day. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was he playing? Something. Some Atari game. Yeah. And I was commenting about, oh, he was playing Montezuma's Revenge. Okay, yeah. Um, and dying a lot. But he was giving it his all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He was having fun, mm. um, so I, I was commenting on there. But I watched it upstairs on the TV. Um, but through casting, and I was um, commenting through the phone. It was it was interesting. Mm. Usually, don't make comments too much mm. um, when watching other people's uh, streams. Yeah, I mean that's the thing on the TV. You can't really chat. You need mm -hmm. a, something else to chat. Yeah, yeah, if it's straight through the TV. But if you're yeah. casting from a, a tablet or something, then you, you can. You can even chat on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, a muddy fencer just asked what I'm drinking. Ah, drink so the it is. Um, it is from a local brewery. It is a Damn. passion fruit saison. Uh -huh. Whatever saison means, I'm not really saison. sure. I don't know if that just means seasonal, but it's beer. Oh, yeah, fancy um, word for something. It's very light and it tastes normal. a little bit like passion fruit. It's very lovely. Surprised you didn't have tablet. Oh well, tablet yeah. is kind of phone tablet. I do have phone slash tablet. Yeah, it's because they're just different sizes. Yeah, it's uh, very good. It's very good. Strange fellows brewing. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if, if they are anywhere but here, but <laughs> I think I think breweries are very localized because there's like national beers and then I, probably I think, for the city or just outside the city. I think Canadian city. breweries you might get them across Canada depending if they're sold through if they're big enough through yeah. the beer store in Ontario. The beer store, awesome. I don't know why there aren't more of those around. Um and uh and like other like 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 uh, liquor stores and things, but. Yeah, yeah. I guess if one gets popular yeah. enough, they'll get distribution. Yeah. So we have some mail. I know what this is. Yeah. You can by, guess by the or name. you just know what it is. <laughs> by the name on it. And I kind of guessed when I, as soon as I saw the package, too, mm. because of the size. Mm. I think maybe other people can guess what this is That's I talked about recently on the show that um, was shipping soon. Oh, I didn't cut it. Something for Jaguar? No, it's not something for the Jaguar. It is. Oh, you can't see it right away. It has Armscar Coder's name oh. on it. Oh! Something I earned. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Are we putting it in the in the thing in the sash? Oh, is it earned? Uh, it is earned. Yeah. I earned it. Yeah, Ooh, that's why I got it. You have to earn this Where one. Where is the sash? Uh, it's just around the corner. Oh, jeez. It is. The Raptor patch it says Raptor Recruit, and it's got a little card with it. Oh, should I read this out? Yeah, this is fine. Jeez. Yeah, what's happening? Oh, they're falling out. Everything says out. Uh, James. You certainly made quick work of Raptor. <laughs> I think I was like second. <laughs> you were pretty high up there, yeah. Uh, second or third. It just further proves that in addition to being a strong pillar in the Atari homebrew community, you're a pretty darn good gamer. Mm. I'm averagely average. <laughs> um, <laughs> congratulations, and I hope there's still room on the sash for this well-earned patch. There we go. Ah, uh, you did mention the sash. That's yes. good. Yes. I, uh, uh, out. I think Arbsair Coder's here, so he can answer that question. Yeah. If the Raptor patches are still available, I think they are. He showed a picture of a ton of patches. So I don't know how many are left. But let's take a look okay. at the patch. Yeah. Armscar do does a great job of personalizing his games. Nice touch with the card, Esmeralda says. He does. Oh my god. If you bought um, his last game, uh, early, oh, it came in that really nice packaging. Oh yes, um, dog on it. Yes, yes, yes. I like, do recall really that. Really wrapped up as if it was the package in the game that was being delivered. I love it. Very meta again. Yeah, arms car coder says yes. Plenty still available. Plenty. So you have to get a thousand in the game. It's not easy, but it's also far from impossible. Yeah. It's achievable. Let's it's say achievable. That. Yeah. Yeah. So if you give enough uh, practice at it, I think. Everybody here can do it. Here's the patch. Ah, they're all falling out today. Get in there. There we go. Beautiful Does patch. Fall out at the bottom. What is going on? the back of it. It is ironable. It's got. It's an iron-on. And here's the, the card that came with it. Very very nice personalized. 
Okay. Um, Are you ready? Yes. You're gonna put it in. I am ready. All right. Do I put it in? Yeah, you can okay. put it in. Just slides in the side. There we ha -ha. go. Homebrew patch earned. Ooh. Not too many homebrew patches. No, there are a few. There's um. Uh, they're a little bit harder to get, I think. Okay. I think I made a mistake you by did. opening it on that side. But you anyway, uh, what is it? Da, the one da, at the da, bottom, da. the golden spanner. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Woo! Oh, thank you so much. Uh, an anonymous gifter gave a tier one sub to Chals Chalcedoni. A Chalcedoni, Chalcedoni got it close. Yay! Chalcedoni now. Awesome. Um, so that's very, very nice of them. <laughs> oh, geez, thanks. <laughs> um, Atari Age Day yep. is coming up, and I've got a nice graphic for that. Um, so let me give a little bit more information about that. Mm. So uh, it's happening on Saturday, May 21st. Nice. 2022, just over two weeks away, so tomorrow plus two weeks, uh, with all your favorite developers unboxing the lineup of new mm -hmm. homebrew from Atari Age. We'll be talking with a whole bunch of developers uh, through uh, voice chat. It'll be a ton of fun if you watched last year. Um, unboxing, you'll be playing the games, I'll be talking to the developers, finding all about about their new games, and you know it's a great lineup. Yeah. Uh, let me just run through the games really quickly. Uh, Doggone It, Escape from the Castle, Night Guy and Low Res World, Castle Days, Game mm. of the Bear, Hellway, Robot 2684, Ladybug Arcade, Mr. Yo-Yo, Soul of the Beast, Unholy, Intellidisks, Danger Zone, Dragon's Descent, Wizard's Dungeon, Dr. Pipe, Typo Collection, Gravitic Mines and Pit Cat. So nice. You know all those games. So yeah. we're going to have 2,600 games, 7,800 games, 5,200 games, and Jaguar games. Nice. So nice. A whole I'm very ton. excited. So, so much yeah, fun. it's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of fun last year. Hopefully, we'll be able to cut down the time to mm -hmm. six hours yeah, yeah, yeah. or even less. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, getting it in early. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> There you go. Let's get that up on the screen. That's a lot. That's a lot. There we go. Okay. I heard one. Here you go, little kitty. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited about... Thank you, RC70. Oh, that's who it was? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Atari, thanks. Yay. So much for that. Um, so Muddy Funster, Lewis Hill, contacted me a little while back yeah. saying, hey, got a new game. Ooh. You want to show it on the show? And I'm like, hey, yeah. of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Games are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're thinking, oh, should we reveal it? Should we make it a secret one? And we're, we thought, oh, let's make it a secret one. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so we kept it a secret not to reveal it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the Beta testers know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think anybody guessed what it is. I didn't really put out a call for guesses, but yeah. some people were guessing before the oh, show. Oh, before the show. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. But I, there was no hints, so it's very, very hard. There you go. Get it. Um, so, are you done? Not yet. The crunchies? No, or you can flip it more. over if you... Because um, I can't really say anything <laughs> about the game. There's no more to say. Yeah, we'll just f we'll f we'll give him his last couple of treats. Yep. Build a little bit of uh, anticipation. anticipation. Oh, any guesses? Yeah. Right now. Um, and maybe Hello. maybe um, maybe Lewis can type in the chat one hint, just like a very vague hint, and people can well guess what it is. If he has one to give, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if he has one to give, that's not too easy and a little yeah. bit hard. Um, so fun. other games that uh, Muddy Funster has made, 2048, uh, Bernie and the Cuba Conundrum, Danger Zone, Daredevil, EXO, uh, Keystone Capers, Track and Field, mm -hmm. Tire Tracks, Sonic Runner, and Space Bank. Ivory Tower Collections, that's a good hint. Well, people who do beta testing uh, don't, get to, <laughs> don't get to guess. Uh, I think they'd guess completely right. Mm -hmm. um, the cats. <laughs> no. Cat treats will continue. He'll get oh. a little too chonky. Oh. Okay. I think we have delayed long enough. Yeah. Um, and there's no hints being given out. Just hum. 
Hmm. Um, I meant a hint to provide to others, silly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, yes, it's a port. I mean, I think that's that's oh. a, uh, a hint. It's never been put on the 7800 before. Yeah. That's another hint. I mean, that opens it up to a ton of things. Oh, of course. Know. It's a port. It is a port. There you go. <laughs> it is a port. Okay, let's get uh, let's get going with it. Let me just cue things up so I can uh, get it ready. Muddy's logo is an indication as well. Hmm. Was it? That's what Ivory Tower Collection says. Oh! Yeah, that's yes. Ivory Tower Collection's hint. I mean, Muddy Vision. There you go. There's another hint for you. Mm. I don't know how... That narrows it down quite a bit, actually. I Does think. it? Yeah. Uh. A little bit. A little mm. bit. Um, okay. I think we're uh, ready. Are you ready? Here we go! Drum roll, please! At Ari Ready. Muddy Vision, build Alpha 64, May 6, 2022. That's today! Oh my god. Zero page <laughs> homebrew preview. Okay, oh, actually, I guess you can press the button to reveal it. Very nice touch. There you go. I'll mm -hmm. give you the honors. All right. Are we ready? We are should ready. We, should we feed the cat a few more treats? No. And, and, no. <laughs> no. Or maybe you have to hit it on the... Uh... Broken. Oh. Ah. RT, Archaeological Rescue Team International. What could this be? It's a port of hero. Oh, you're starting it. I don't... thought you wanted me to start it. No, I don't want you to start it. We're going to go through the instructions <laughs> first. <laughs> Funny. Um, uh, Artie is a new project that I started. Not me. This is from Lewis. <laughs> that I started as EXO is complete and Keystone is very close with just a couple of things to polish up there. I started Artie about six weeks ago and it has progressed nicely to where we are today. Nice. With a playable demo. Artie is very much inspired by the 2600, C64, and Atari 8 bit classic hero. Mm. Now I can switch out the, the cartridge. Boom. Uh, why Hero? Well, it's a favorite of mine, and I felt that I could add something to the existing versions by making an adaption for the 7800 that takes advantage of the system. Mm. Okay. Uh, I wasn't sure that I wanted to do another port this quickly after Keystone, as I had another few original projects that I wanted to work on. But this one just kept popping back up and progressed along quickly, so I thought, why not? Mm. The demo is only four levels long, so it's more of a taster preview than a true demo, but it's fully mm. featured. Excellent. So let's take a look <laughs> at the instructions. The instructions. <laughs> It's a retheme port of pressure cooker. <laughs> oh my god, that game's hard. Um, Arty introduction. I say, old bean, how the devil are you? It's splendid to get a new appreciate apprentice. We haven't found all of the bits of the last fellow yet. Well, pip hip huzzah and all that. Oh, anyway, welcome to Arty. Archaeological Rescue Team International. We are an old and storied organization specializing in rescuing wayward adventurers mm. and explorers. I'm too old to... I'm going to not do the voice. I'm too old to pull on the H suit now, uh, the hero suit. Uh, so I'll be guiding you through your training. Tally-ho then, eh? <laughs> Getting started. Your H suit comes with some neat doodads and widgets. It has a built-in gyrocopter so that you can fly around the rescue uh, zones. Rather marvelous. Modern marvels. In my day, we had a rope and a hook. If we're lucky, two hooks. <laughs> Moving around. Up activates the gyro and gets you airborne. Left and right to fly and run around. It's all jolly intuitive. Now, your helmet has a laser beam. Do be careful where you're pointed. The laser is rather spiffy at sorting out any beasties and such that you might come across in the rescue zone. It's also rather good at taking down walls and obstacles. Takes a little effort, but they come down in the end. Activate the laser with button one. Dynamite. 
No. In the rescue <laughs> zones, you will oft come across co obstacles that need a bit more we welly to shift. Ah. Uh, well, that's all tickety-boo, or should I say boom, as your H-suit has a dynamite dispenser built in. Jolly good show, eh? You have to be standing still to drop a dynamite and move... Orf? Off, <laughs> off. Orf, orf, off. Jolly quick. Oh. And it's cheerio back to the start. You uh, do only get six sticks, old bean, per, per level. dynamite with uh, button two. All right. Oh, a couple spelling mistakes. Uh, or no, purposeful. It's the accent. Oh, dynamite. Dynamite. Uh, <laughs> dynamite. Uh, dangerous beasts. The beasties that you'll run into will try very hard to eat you, given half a chance. Mm -hmm. It's quite the menagerie. Bats. Oh, big bats and small bats. Oh, cute. Big spiders and small spiders. Bats. Wow. Insects and snakes. Very nice. Oh, bitey snakes. Environmental hazards. Last but not least, old bean, do watch out for lava and such. It's frightfully hot and pretty fatal. Orf with their head. <laughs> <laughs> T. Righto. In each rescue zone, there's an adventure or explorer to rescue. When you find them, it's Tootle Pip back to camp for a spot of tea. Oh, I want tea. I'll have tea mm -hmm. after. <laughs> uh, well, better get a wriggle on. Yeah, Tanya's full British and I'm half British. Kind of. We're both born in Canada, though. Uh, on your, uh, your flight leaves in 10 minutes. Next okay. stop, South America. <laughs> Credits and acknowledgement. Artie is inspired by the Atari 2600 game Hero by John Van Risen, 1984. Atari 7800 Pro System adaptation. Uh, Artie, 2022, mm. Muddy Vision. Coding, graphics, Lewis Hill. Code Guru, Mike Sarna. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, so very that's nice. the connection. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, T boss, Mrs. Mrs. H. H. Very nice. Need yeah. the tea. You, someone has to make the tea. That's right. Testing, crossbow, Esmeralda's, Trebor. Nice. Very nice. And that is the end of the instructions. Yeah. Uh, nice. Is this a hero clone? Uh, of sorts. Mm. It is a hero port. Inspired by hero. Uh, options. Uh, there's no options. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and look at that uh, title screen. And that smoke is like. Tons of different frames, like um, at least five or six frames. Chalcedony Mal was pointing out earlier that his, his there's a little little light that comes up on on <gasps> his cigarette or his Does cigar. It, it kind of looks like a cigar, but you see that the smoke looks great, but then the light, the the burning embers of the oh end. Oh my God! It does. There uh, it is. And and uh, that's that's attention to detail right there. Like that's that really cool. That's it looks really, really good. nice. Yeah. And a little flower and a skull and little very round rocks for the periods and a little flower for the last one. Mm. Oh, very, very nice colors too. Okay. Mm. So I'll let you have the honors while I read out some more. Actually, we're going to listen to it because there's a lot going on in this. Um, mm. Actually, let me play first. Tobacco use is going to push this into rated T for T area. <laughs> true, true. That's true. Yeah. So nice. I'm going to turn it up here because that was a little low for us. I'll turn it up here. It's not tobacco. He's vaping. That's worse. Right. That's worse. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Actually, it's not worse, but it's bad no, too. <laughs> it's bad. So look at the colors and the detail mm. great helicopter yeah. check this out what he's going behind oh the yes vine. yeah that's beautiful oh it's gorgeous yeah, yeah 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 walking sounds and the extra men have animation you have your sticks of dynamite there yep. i'm losing lots of power but that's okay we're just showing it off there's the dynamite Go visit the cobweb. Yay, go cobwebs. behind the cobweb. Woo. Behind the flower. Nice. Go behind that. Yeah. I love that. Oh, it's so good. There's a big spider. Nice skull on the right hand Zap side em. and left Zap side. Zap him. Zap him good. Yeah. 50 points. Oh, who is this? Hello. You found Indy. Dr. Jones, I presume. What happened? Oh, I finished the level. Oh, that was you, oh you I have to see. Rescue. Oh, that was a pretty short level. That was yeah. the tutorial level. Tutorial, yeah, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah, foreground I elements. Know. Time for tea. Time for tea. <laughs> yes, it is tea time. Yeah, nice little flowers. Are they different colors? 
have to, I have to look at the flowers. There's pink ones there. Nope, pink ones. Another big spider. Zap that guy. Mm -hmm. Go up the wall. Let's go down here. Mm -hmm. Go carefully in case there's something bad, which there is. See, if you go down the other side... Yeah, you die? No. No, you, you just get trapped, right? You get trapped? And you're like, oh... And uh, you can't... So you have to go back around. Very nice. Oh, it doesn't let you yeah. blow it up. Only where yeah. you're supposed to. So you can't waste dynamite, that which is, is good. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, big spider, you get points for blowing up all the beasties. Blow up the beasties. Oh, another explorer. Who could that be? Ms. Croft? She doesn't <laughs> usually have blonde, long hair. No. So, yeah. If you, if you, you come across a, a brunette with braids, then yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. And this is kind of holding up the ceiling there. Nope, not Miss Croft. Not Miss Croft. <laughs> Don't, don't want to infringe is. on any copyrights. So. Not too much. Uh, I oh. think that was Fabio. Yes, agreed. Fabio. Rescuing yeah. Fabio oh, the Explorer. There's even foreground. Do you see that? Yes. Dark foreground. Oh, Very nice. Dark maze. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm used to it in here. What are we going to do? So see that light there? When you go across a light and you touch it, it, yeah. it pops it and burns it out. So there's a beastie. Oh, Whoa. I see. Oh, this is a big open area. Let's get rid of this guy. Nice. Oh, good. And I think it's just completely open. Yeah. Oh, there's another little thing going behind. Nice. Spider web in the corner. Really nice. Zap that guy. Uh-oh. Some bones of some poor sod. Mm -hmm. Didn't make it. Sod, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think you're at the, the English is catching them. Yeah. Rubbing off of me. British accent. Oh, is that a... Oh, it is. There. And, and oh, dynamite lights it up. Oh, so Very you can see nice. what's going on. So there's two paths. Yeah. And you can't go down that one because it's fully blocked. But it's so subtle. Like, yeah. you could try. I died because I waited. Oh, wasted too much that's time. That's okay. We're just showing it off right now. Yeah. James isn't going for score. No. You just want to see everything. It's amazing. Yeah. Actually, there's something blocking. What? I thought there was something blocking here. Oh, yeah. There's a wall just up there. Oh, I see. Beast. Bones of a lost arty. Yep, pretty much. Oh, can't go down there. No, nope. you have to go down that side. And then and go then, across. And then go across. Oh, then vomit. Yeah. Then you, go across. You will die if you try to go down the left. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. And the the monsters kind of stick to themselves most of the time. Yeah. That one's guarding the hero. Too, the yeah. Explorer. Yay! Yay! Level three! Oh, we should have stopped and looked at the water. Um, no. Uh, kind of murky water. We'll look at it on this one. Dirty oh. murky water. Nice. Now, where is... There it is. So that one's a bit dangerous. You want to back off. Oh, there's a light, so if you go down the left, you lose the light. Gotcha! Yeah. Oh! Oh! Snakey! There's a snake coming out of the wall, so you it's don't like want to be the, too uh, close. Snake from the Jungle Book. Got the same head Oh, it does. Yep. Nice. The colors are awesome. It the looks browns beautiful. And yeah. And the stonework is oh, I great. I love it. I love this style of game. And um, the last one looked like he was taunting the hostage. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> not going to take you back with me. Oh. Nice. Look at that. Another explosion in the dark. Very nice. Here's a kick in. says, I think these sounds are straight out of the 2600 game. I, yeah, I yeah. think they're TIA. And Mighty Funster says yeah, there will be extra levels. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a green then, snake. This is oh, very nice. That she that's, looks. She looks. That's miss she looks a little more Lara Crofty. Not yeah, no braids, but uh, she's got the uh, short shorts and the little and the, the gun the, and the, the knife, holster. The knife holster. Oh, is it is a, knife? a gun holster? And I don't know. I don't. Probably a knife. Never holster. played those games. So um, there's yep. Lara. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> she's there somewhere. Oh. Nice. Again. I was looking at the um, the water, so let's go down really quick to yeah. it. Nice. Mix between Laura and Alex from Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Teal shirt and all. Oh. Yeah, got the colors there. So, look at that yeah. nice animated water there. Yeah. Yep. 
And uh, this is the last level of the demo. Mm. So there you go. Awesome! I say, jolly good show. You've completed the demo. Well, con completing the demo is rather smashing. It's just the start. There'll be more to do. Full version plan features. 256 classic screens. Mm. Oh my god. 50 all new screens. More uniquely themed zones. So it'll be a different look to the layout. Um, and to the rocks and I'm guessing jungle, vines and stuff like that. Atari Vox and save key support. And pokey musical score. And much more. Mm. I love the little animated guy. Mm -hmm. Now it is your turn. And I'm going to read out more of the notes that right. you passed on to me. Um... How, how do sorry is it up? What is up the... to up to fly? How and do the you... second button to lay oh, the dynamite? Oh, yeah. Run away. There we go. There's some features. Thank you, Cafe Man 2D. Yeah. Pokey music. So sound effects on the TIA. That makes sense. Yeah. It was like you were the voice of the Monocle Man. I tried for a bit. Uh, there's some features not yet in, like being able to kill a beastie with dynamite, for example. But those features are all on the roadmap map in the coming weeks. Right now, the uh, engine is about 85% complete. The game will be split across a number of themed areas, first being South America. And uh, with a very Aztec, Inca, Mayan look, with others to follow. The graphics are not yet complete for South America, with some placeholders being used. Some tiles are EXO World 3 surplus. <laughs> Uh, and some polish needed. I do think of this as an adaption and not a one-to-one -one port, as there are some things with uh, the original hero that I wanted to adjust, particularly the controls being a little clunky and unforgiving. The controls are quite good in this, especially the hovering. Yeah, the hovering is good. Because on the original game, at least on the 2600, the hovering took a little bit to get going, mm. and I always found it very frustrating. You're going to die. Um, Oh, it killed him in the process. Yeah, when you when you uh, run into a beastie, it dies. Yeah, the uh, the uh, the twenty six hundred version, it takes a little bit to take off, and I think in this one it it's almost instant. Like press up right now. Yeah, it's very instant. The mm -hmm. twenty six hundred one's like, uh, and then it goes. It's really frustrating. You get used to it, but. Um, and I think the adaption route gives me a bit of license to be creative while keeping the spirit of the original. Mm -hmm. um, and that was another question I was going to pose um, for a poll about ports. How true to the original should you make a port? Should you correct things in a port that are, that are, that are frustrating or... Like, graphics don't matter, um, but, like, things that are pixel-perfect, you, should you give it more leeway? Like, going up a ladder, we have to be pixel-perfect on it, and it's super frustrating. Um, or should you be exactly perfect, like, one pixel is one pixel? Um, yeah, I think that's a good question for a uh, poll later on. 2600 is really frustrating when you get to the lava levels. Oh my god, that's when I get... I die in the game is the lava levels. It gets really, really hard. Now, the graphics in this are astounding. We're gonna take a look at the other ports in a second okay. of, of Hero to, to compare it. Um, the plan for Artie, um, and I think I read all these out, uh, 256 original screens, at least 50 new screens, kind of like Hero Plus, mm -hmm. which is always nice when you make a port. Yeah. Um, you can add more things to it, right? Uh, Pokey musical score, save key in Atari box, multiple themed areas, lots of additional polish, and stuff, in quotes. Stuff. Um, <laughs> Sorry. The cat just went, no, you're not playing anymore. <laughs> he just sat right on, he's like pushed it over. No more hero for you. So, what are you doing? if you can be quiet for a little second. Sure. Uh, he said, listen to the going up and down. Oh, yeah. Different tones Different going up and down. No noises. Yep. Um, mix of large and small critters, which is a little bit different. It doesn't uh, change any of the gameplay, yeah. having small and big. It's yeah. just a little bit more interesting, right? Um, oh, large for open spaces, small conf for confined. I didn't yeah. notice um, that that's how it was. So let's take a look. So that's a big spider. He's kind of in a more yeah. open area. I 
realized it was burning off the um, dynamite. When uh, it goes boom, 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 at the end, at the end of the level, it oh, burns yes. off all the dynamite at the get, end. I was like, why is it making it. all those noises? <laughs> but it makes sense. So let's take a look at that. Yeah. So here's the, yeah. So you have four dynamite. Yeah. And, and then it goes, they explode. Do they actually go? Okay, yeah. You get points for the ones that yeah. are left. That makes sense. Lamps are shootable mm. as well as touchable, uh, like the original. A good thing to check off is knocking off a lamp in a room with a wall, then using a dynamite on the wall to see the fuse light up the room, which we did see. Um, there's a whole roster of wayward explorers and adventurers, so I'm not sure who that uh, first woman is. The first, Did well, no, say? the first adventurer looked like Indy. Like, no, there's an Indy. The first woman. The first, or, the or, second no, adventurer. Um, or, or, like, a swashbuckler, or like, a, someone said Fabio. Fabio, yeah. <laughs> uh, gyro rotor speeds changes depending on if you're running or flying. Try oh, look at burning that. through the walls. It does work. Oh, that's right. I haven't done that. See the the copter? There? Yeah. The gyro? Slow. Fast. It slows down and stops when you're... When you're sitting there. Oh, it goes through... Oh! Oh. oh, that'd be nice in the. Um, but it, it wastes time, I guess. Oh yeah. You know. A, I think it's a lot faster than the original. I remember having to burn through the original. It takes quite a lot of time. Wonder if, you, wonder if, mm. uh, Muddy, are you going to add in like degrading? Oh, Sophia from the fate of Atlantis. Uh, I don't know that reference, know. but cool. Are, are you going to add in like the walls being destructed a little bit mm. as you as you shoot them? That would be very cool. Uh, sound effects are a bit loud at times, need to be tuned. Yeah, the explosions of the dynamite at the end are a little bit loud. Yeah. Yeah. All oh. I think of with Fabio is I can't believe it's not butter. If anyone remembers those commercials. <laughs> don't remember him don't remember him doing uh, he, that. He did one of those commercials and with him with the wind and it was it was very, very much a parody of him, but he was in one uh. of them. Yeah. I remember those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So let's take a look at oh, wow. all the different versions of Hero. So this is the 2600 one that we're all very familiar with. Mm. This is this is from the uh, website Let's uh, Gaming History Source. Mm. They're really great. At, they uh, are great. They show stuff. all the versions. All the versions. Really good videos. Yeah. Here's ZX Spectrum. If that's your thing, you know. Yeah, if you like you watching see how, ten how different it's ported. versions of something. No, it's really interesting. It's really Apple interesting. II. That one's pretty good. Oh yeah, look at the look at the backgrounds in that one. Yeah, detailed backgrounds. Yeah. Commodore sixty four, very wow. very detailed backgrounds, with lots of dots even yeah. in the in the black. Um. So Hero, standing for Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operation, is a video game written by John Van Reesen, published by Activision for the 2600 March 1984. It was ported to the Apple II, Atari 5200, Atari 8-bit. Mm. Here's the 2600 version. Mm. There you mm. go. Mm. Um, Atari 8-bit family. Mm. Uh, so 2600, 5200, Atari 8-bit. So it was missing the 7800. So Muddy Funster has filled in that gap now. Nice. Um... Uh, uh, MSX and ZX Spectrum. So let's go to the next one. Oh, that doesn't work. No, it's work. more Commodore 64. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. So here's oh, the Atari no. 8 He does go a fairly long play of each of them, too, which is nice. Oh, yeah, to get a good idea of everything. The player uses a helicopter backpack and other tools to rescue victims trapped deep in a mine. The mine is made up of multiple screens using a flip screen style, so it doesn't scroll. Sega released a version of the game for its SG-1000 console in Japan in 1985. While the gameplay is identical, Sega changed the backpack from a helicopter to a jetpack. So there's the Atari 8-bit. There's the Atari 5200, which really shouldn't be much different than the Atari 8-bit one. Um, a Coleco one. Mm. Quite detailed. I like the colors. Yeah. It's crazy. Crazy colors. MSX, which is the cousin to the Coleco, so mm. it's going to look very similar. Uh, here's the SG-1000 that I was talking about, oh, which is a looks, little... The, the graphics are so different. <laughs> so different. And very chunky walking. I, like, I kind of like it, but... Uh, it's a very different look. Very distinct. Uh, and it didn't list this one. Oh, it's having trouble. Game Boy Advance. Oh, very. This is 2600. Very yeah. 2600. Uh, very. And then there's a bunch of PSP, and those are all just taken from the 2600. Wow. Uh, I think I think Muddy Funster has come out on top of everything I've seen so far. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> and recently, yeah, uh, as of two years ago, there was an Intellivision port made. Mm. Um, it's called Heli, as you just saw there. 
uh, by C. Madruga. It was released by Intellivision Revolution on November 27th, 2020. We'll hmm. jump ahead to the actual gameplay. So it looks looks a little different. Ooh, very nice animated legs. The, the running is quite good. Lots of uh, lots of frames there. But uh, yeah, pretty good for an Intellivision. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice looking. Let's get some sounds. <laughs> oh, it's got <laughs> funky music going on there. I like there. the music. So there's going to be music in the 7800 version, so I'm, I'm nice. interested in hearing what it's yeah. going to sound like. Mighty Funster says, I didn't know about the NT version. Looks great. It, yeah. it does. It's it's quite good. Yeah. I mean, for for the Intellivision, what, what it can do, it's yeah. quite good. It's got that Intellivision colors, that yellow yeah. is so Intellivision. Um, greeny yellow? Yeah, that greeny yellow and the greens. It's just got a very distinct color palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks looks really nice. Mm. Um, Grello, yeah. <laughs> Grello, it's kind of a mix. It's kind of a chartreuse. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you play a little bit more while I read a tiny bit more out, right. and then we shall. Kit, I'm gonna put this on move you. Move on. Will you? Will you? No, no, he won't. That's... He won't stand. Oh, um, so the. The guy's name in it, in the original yeah. game, is called Roderick Hero, which is, and it's shortened to Our Hero. So cheesy. Oh, I love it. I love A one-man rescue team. Mine is working in Mount Leone. Where is that? Um, our trap is up to Roderick to reach each of them. And the rest is just explaining about the game. So there you go. It is, and, and this is obviously the best looking one mm -hmm. out of all of them. This it is looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. The, uh... the colors, the, the rocks, the oh. animation, uh, the detail on the player um, and the people that are that you're rescuing. Just even the stonework. Everything's so, so, so it detailed. Looks so good. And this is just, just a preview. Chalcedony Mao. Chalcedony. Chalcedony. There it is. Nope. No amp for you. Uh, also agrees that it's easily the best of the lot. Um, no options in the options menu. They're not implemented yet. So. Oh, that's not, what, what is going on? Oh, we haven't seen this. Oh, Terribly sorry, old bean. Oh, good luck. <laughs> but we've Jolly run good try through. But we've run out of H suits. Nice. Jolly good try through. That means game over. Press fire to continue. So yeah, go to the options. Uh, it doesn't have no, any No, there's yet. nothing in there yet. I'm guessing uh, music on or off. Lives, maybe. Oh, and you could you'd be able to go to like the extra levels. Right? Yeah, when it's fully implemented? Possibly, yeah, once you pass oh, them. Save and load, because it has 256 levels. So nice. I'm guessing there'd be save and load for there. I love Smitty B. All options are mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. The options are mandatory at I'm, this stage. I, I'm pretty sure there's a standard operating procedure somewhere. All options are <laughs> mandatory. Yeah. No. Uh, one thing one of the things is CRT mode to disable the background. Yeah. Oh, nice. because it it'll get it's just too detailed, I guess. It'll get really muddy. Nice. Pun not intended. Who's, Who's the full team? Actually, it showed oh. it in the instructions, yes. didn't it? Yep. Flip, flip, flip. Right at so the end. So we'll, we'll, uh, there we go. So, so far. Yeah. Um, so the music hasn't been implemented. So I'll, who knows who's doing the music? Is it Synth Synthpapalooza? <laughs> Is it somebody else? We don't know yet. No. Um, so yeah, it's Lewis Hill and Mike Sarna. Nice. Um, and then at the, and Miss H for the T T boss and the T boss and the testers works. crossbow as Ramirez yes. and Trevor. So we shall see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it is synth Popalooza then. <laughs> Did I guess correctly? I mean, that's that's it. That's who uh, has been working on the other. Mm, Ivory Tower Collection says actually it looks really good on a CRT. Just oh. ask Steve and Trevor. Excellent. Shall we emulate it? Let's see. Yeah. Are we gonna em can oh you have that option very yep. nice. I mean, all oh, options are great. mandatory, so that looks great. Gets darker. <laughs> looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. LCD. That looks good. Yeah. Off. Yep. So far, so good. Did that make it darker? 
I'm going to reload my profile. I think it did. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. So yeah, mm -hmm. it, it does look good on those. It doesn't get too muddy. I mean, I'm using mm -hmm. an LCD to emulate yeah. um, CRT, yeah. but uh, yeah, it did, it did look really good. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for sharing this with everyone, Muddy Funster, and allowing us to mm -hmm. uh, debut this on the show. It looks incredible. Amazing. I look forward to more levels. Yes. And with that new flying function that lifts off immediately i'm going it's going to be a joy to play yeah yeah the 2600 one is like it's very hard to play i still have not got my patch on hero and that's why i was able to mm. grab it from that shelf because mm. those are the ones i don't have the patches for still oh yeah yeah, um, yeah. hero is very hard i get kind of like three quarters of the way and then it just falls then it's apart. just too hard just yeah. this lift off yeah this is immediate the other one in the game it's like uh, and then you go up. Yeah. Um, in the other game, it's a little easier to hover, but this is this is quite I, easy. No, though. I like this better because it's not. Yeah, hovering is not a problem. You just tap it, and you don't go crazy like flying off. Hovering in the other game is a nightmare. Is a nightmare, yeah. A nightmare. Yeah. It makes uh, the levels where you have to fly under things mm. almost impossible mm. because you have to. That's hard. Time it just right. Yeah. I wonder how you get so much colors with high, such high resolution. Yeah. Um, he's, he's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. he, he knows how, what he's doing on the 7800. Yep. Yeah. yeah. He's definitely muddy fun. Like knows. just go back to his first 2600 games, like tire tracks, his first game. Yeah. Check out the colors in that one yeah. and how he uses them in the 2600. And you can see the lineage of how detailed his games right from the beginning were. Mm. Like when I first saw tire tracks and he put it out, I was like this this is unbelievable mm. like just the colors on that it's it's really really good so mm. it's not a surprise that starting from tire tracks and now like four years later mm. three or four years later you get to see this and it's it's right in line with all the rest of his games it's it's unbelievable the map is split into sections the screen graphics are probably compressed right yeah so that's good questions for him uh 160a mode okay so yeah, it's there's 320 and mm. 160. So when you have 160 dots across, you get more colors to play with. With 320, it cuts the colors in half. Yeah, mm. all right. Um, okay, so let's. I I just need yeah. to point out, and this just struck me as 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 I was staring at the uh, hero. Yeah. That it does kind of look like Deadpool, with a <laughs> on with like a copter, you know, yeah. like a personal copter, a, a copter him. backpack. <laughs> we won't know till he takes off his helmet. I, it's at true. At the end of the it's game. True. <laughs> I like it. Got to add that in. <laughs> Reveals himself at the and, end and of the it's game. Ryan Reynolds. Now. It's Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> famous Vancouverite. Very true. Yeah, yeah. He's from where we are. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Muddy Funster. It was awesome to check this out, and I can't wait for updates. Yes, it'll be great. Yeah. Um, Deadpool would love the helicopter pack. Yeah. Now I can't unsee <laughs> Deadpool. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nathan Strom, for subscribing. Uh, okay, so we're going to move on to Time Salvo, mm. and we actually get to unbox this one, <laughs> um, because it is Yay, in a box. unboxing! Yes. Thank you so much, Muddy oh, Funster. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, for sharing this with us. A astounding this Beautiful work. game. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, Nathan Strum, 30 months. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Um, so I remember I said there's a connection to the artwork. So mm. when I announced that we're going to play this on the show, mm. um, uh, Corey Kramer popped up on Facebook and posted that he did the label, cover art, and manual for the game. Oh, nice. So when I posted that we we're going to play this today. Very nice, yeah. He was like, I did that. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at this artwork here. Have a good night, S. Ramirez. Yeah, good night, S. <laughs> Ramirez. Thank you for staying up. Yeah. And watching. Look at that great artwork. Very um, like, I don't know what kind of artwork that would be reflective of, like, 70s cartoons? Like, yeah, a uh, little of the 70s, 80s, maybe? Yeah, yeah 70s, 80s. Like, or or uh, even back to the 60s, really, with that thick black line, right, in, yeah, the, in the artwork. But it's like beautiful. Like Scooby-Doo yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Especially with that ghost. 
but like the Hanna Bar well, is Hanna Barbera with the thick black lines. I don't know. I don't know. But it looks great. H. E. Wells Time Machine. Yeah. Yeah. So this is done by Revenge, 2016. Yep, I bent it. Of course, or it was pre-bent. I don't know. Let's take a look at the contents. The same on the. On the cartridge and the manual. There's the credits. Anybody we know? Corey Kramer. <laughs> Thanks go out to Corey Kramer who created the hilarious cartridge. Mm. Uh, spelling mistakes. <laughs> cartridge. Mm. Uh, manual and package art for Time Salvo. Corey's work brought much needed uh, touch of whimsy to the production. Excellent. So. Let's pop this in and get it going, and uh, we'll read out all that as we go. And this is a twin stick game. Nice. So we're going to get out. Is there a good time for me to get more beer? Uh, when I'm playing. Okay. So we're going to get out the twin stick. Okay. Where is it? I don't know. We were, we were playing it the other day. Maybe I put it in the shelf. Did I put it in the shelf? Did I put it up yep. above? Oh, no. Those are the... Did I find a home for it? <laughs> it's so big, I'm quite surprised. Because we definitely need a twin stick for this. Where did it go? How Dude. does a twin stick, how, how does that disappear? Uh, Anytime is beer time, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I may have put it in the closet. Metal Lunar 7, haha, I was going to say, never a bad time to get more beer, but I guess that's not always true. It's There There might not be, it's not always the best time when you're in the middle of a live stream. I think I put it in the closet, which is a very silly thing to do. That is a very silly thing to do. Don't, there's only so many twin stick games. I, I thought it was out, but I guess, yeah. It you did tidy recently. up here. I did tidy up. <laughs> It's the problem with tidying up. If everything's everywhere, you can at least see where it is. Yeah. Organized chaos. Organized chaos, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What happened to it? <laughs> I'm laughing because usually everything is just on the floor, so... <laughs> is, it, is it in the corner? Did it get moved? Oh, isn't it? Isn't that it there on the shelf? Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> this is like losing Alaska. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's not small. So it's kind of surprising. Yeah. That you can lose it. Okay. Now we can do it. <laughs> Did Atari knock it under something? He, did. Uh, Bad he was he was he was going for a treat and pushed it aside. Okay. Number two. Oh, Cafe Man 2D, all my game systems are still boxed up because I moved. I can't play anything. <laughs> oh, no. Emulation only for well, you. Good luck getting unpacked and getting everything set up. There we go. Oh, Yay. To it. Oh. People can hear it but not see it. That's not good. No. Actually, I'll... I'll, I'll Bumped, groove to the groove to the to music. This. Yeah. Let's restart it. There we go. Okay. It's so funny that there's so many different themes that people have made for Atari Age. Yeah. On uh, TIA and and Pokey. Okay. So you might want to change the controls to Twin Stick. There you go. That started it. Okay. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D says, I love this game, but I'm not good too good at it. I'm not too good at it either. Uh, when I traveled to the future, I was expecting to see flying machines in cities that reached far into the sky. Instead, I found ruins. Mankind had withered away and devolved into the Eloi, a feeble humanoid people. Their saving grace, Eloi. Eloi? Uh, their saving grace was that they were kind and welcoming. Truthfully, I was glad for their company. When the first night of my visit fell, I became acquainted with humanity's other new children, the Morlocks. Yeah, this is straight out of oh, Time Machine. Is that what it's called? Time Machine? 
Yeah, H, yeah. HTML's time machine? No, no amp for you. No amp for you. Uh, they are f the feared shadows that stalk the night in this age. They prowl relentlessly until they can satisfy their taste for human flesh. Oh, Last night, the Morlocks took away my Eloy com companion, Weena. Uh, my poor sweet Weena. One moment she had been playfully sticking flowers into my pockets with her tiny hands. The next moment, claws were dragging her away to the internal darkness. Morning has now dawned, and I swear I will destroy this the filthy Morlock scourge. I will fix this horrible thing time has done to humanity. I will avenge oh, my Weena, the time traveler. Is... Game over. So hard. Um, is this... <laughs> Are it's, there levels? Yeah. Uh, it probably restarts. There we go. Time corpse. Oof. You didn't do well. Oof. Uh, it won't save because we're using... Because you can't play this with twin stick and save your high scores, unfortunately. So you have to play with single stick to save high scores. Metal Lunar 7. Gotta avenge your poor sweet Weena. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, your goal is to shoot all of the Morlock enemies, avoid being shot, and protect the four... Cat. Uh, humanoids that eventually appear in each level. Good night, Muddy Funster. Good night, Muddy Funster. It's very late for where he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is in GMT. So, seven plus seven. GMT? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think. Kitten. So, he's five, seven, two a.m. Um... If you happen to lose all the humanoids in the level, the lights will go out. In the dark, the enemies will become more aggressive, and an invincible hulking enemy will tirelessly hunt you down until the level is complete. Shooting at the hulk will push him back, but only a little. Oh, damn it. If the brain enemy manages to touch a humanoid, it will be converted into a pillar killer prog. The prog will race to the battlefield after you until you shoot it, or it kills you. So it's it's got a little Robotron in it, in terms, and it's got... It's, it's like a mix of Robotron and something else, but I'm not sure what the something else is. Uh, periodically, you'll need to reload your ammunition. An alarm will sound when you have 10 bullets left, and you'll see a pack of replacement ammunition appear on the battlefield. Touch the ammunition to reload. Oh, God. A destroyed enemy will sometimes leave behind a smart bomb. If you touch the smart bomb before it disappears, each enemy on the battlefield will be destroyed. I love the smart bombs. Oh, yeah. Oh, it gets crazy real fast. <laughs> I always get shot. I keep missing, like, paying attention. To, ah, the shots. Oh, you got that Yeah, that no, I got away from it. I love how they trail behind you. So cute. Boom. Oh, missed the last one. That's okay. Every two levels you encounter the challenge stage, bad cats, uh, where four waves of enemies race across the screen, which is super cool. Um, kind of like a Galaga or, or a bonus stages in, in shooters. This one, they go zoom, zoom, zoom. It's really awesome. If you manage to shoot all the enemies in the challenge stage, you'll earn an extra life. Sort of defender with the conver converted humanoids to enemies. Yep. Attack of the Mutant Camels. Mm. It's got a bit of that. Game controls. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Two-stick mode is the best way it to play. for sure the best way, yeah. Because you can run one way and shoot the other. Yep. Um, and then it gives some more hints about one-stick mode. Both you and the enemies are vulnerable when moving to a new intersection on the battlefield grid. Shoot enemies that enter into the row or column your player is located at. Use caution when moving. So you can use it like you're doing there. You wait for them to come into your grid. And then they're... Oh, you know, don't move into their grid. It. Wait until they come into yours. And be far away. Well, yeah, but you you, you know when, when the humans are coming. So you kind of want to... Right, you want to be around them. Around where the humans are. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. So many... Yeah. Uh, he was I, dead anyway. He was dead anyway. The humans are no very hope. hard to keep alive, so, you know. They are. They're very silly. They have. N they don't look before they come out of their, whatever they are, pods. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Explode. At the beginning of each level, you can snipe enemies as they march on screen. And yeah. Then, yep. So you want to be at the top at the beginning of, of the level so that um, 
as they come on because they go all the way to the bottom and then they build up. Fun game. You're not shooting them as they come on the it's screen. Like, really? Oh, I am. I'm always. Oh, you mean here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forget that. As they that. come down, you can shoot them. That. So you go up to the top and you can shoot them as they, they go down either side. I think the ones along the top you can't really get. I'll have to look next time. Didn't really see if they came on the screen from left to right. That's not a bad spot. Oh, no! Oh. Dead! Oh! oh. Prologue. Prologue. Ah. The boulder sat in the long grass, unmoving and seemingly unremarkable. The wind gently flowed around it, rustling the grass and the waves. An elderly Eloy woman approached, with several young younglings in tow. One of them looked up to her and spoke, Grandmother, why do you come here every cycle? She didn't answer right away. Instead, she polished an inscription in the rock. Even though it had already been cleaned, she stood back and admired the result. The result. For the time traveler, he saved us all from the dark as he lit the spark to show us the way. She smiled and answered the youngling's question. I come here to say hello to an old friend. As she finished the word, she noticed that the child had already raced off to play with the others. With that, she raised her tiny hands and set some flowers on the boulder, paused for a heartbeat, and then turned back to playfully chase after the group. Oh, God. And, um... No. Time travelers. Come back here. Stop <laughs> running away. It's not an... Oh. oh, right into it. <sighs> Time travelers well into the public domain. <sighs> so it's very, very safe to use all that. How'd you do? Ah, uh, it's all right. No, oh, you got first It's fun. Time. It's fun. Oh, I got first all the times. So they're all zero. <laughs> oh, there's an AAA. Did you... Oh, you put that in? I put that in. Okay. I put that in. Okay, now I'm getting a beer. Okay, right now is the time to get a beer. Yes, kid. He will. He'll go wherever there's treats. Connecticut Yankee. Okay. So there's no... Oh, my God. So there's no um, different uh, levels of difficulty. I'm going to have to get used to this. Let's get the first levels. Fairly tame. shooting like crazy. That is a problem. Oh, let's get that. Splosium! Oh, protect the human. Explode all the things. Well, it, didn't, it doesn't explode the bullets, unfortunately. Hey, come back here. Oh, come back here. Oh my god. Oh, I almost ran out, out ran the bullet. Oh, they're free again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to this game. Oh, okay, There's a lot going on all over the screen. There we go. Everybody explode. Everybody explode. It's so nice when they all explode. Yeah, do it again. Explode. It doesn't explode their bullet, as I learned. No, no. So you guys still got to dodge the bullet. You still got to be careful. Yeah. Hi. Oh, he's looking at me with expectation. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, no. Poor cat. Fluffy ah. expectations. Fluffy expectations. <laughs> Come on, human. Come on. Come on, I can't wait all day. Oh my goodness. Dangerous. Ah. Gotta get up there. Humans are coming. There's too many around. Oh, good job. Oh no, they're all dead. Because you move in a grid. Like mm -hmm. you can't stop once you move, trying to move into. Mm. He anticipates <laughs> me. Oh my God. Way too close. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Did I be James? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mwah. Did you? I don't think you did. I did, see? 1960. Oh, your third game beat my first one? Yeah. Yes, it did. Yeah, you played this before. <laughs> so have you. Yeah. Oop, I'm not T. I don't... <laughs> You're not T, no. You can put TCO in if you want. No. One thing I do like is when it remembers your name. Mm. <laughs> so you don't have to put it in mm -hmm. each time. 
Rank Connecticut Yankee. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it again. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, missing. You're such a oh, happy missing. cat. Oh, he's so happy. Goes be between happy and utterly frightened out of his mind. Oh, gosh, yeah, since we've been giving him his asthma medication. Oh, my goodness. A terrified cat. Just terrified. I don't know what he's terrified of. It's not that scary. No, it just goes over his mouth just for a little bit. Oh, he just loses it. It didn't go down. Mm. Yeah, he's well, at least he was right there. Very Your guy's coming out very soon. Oh, get him. And he hasn't. He's had like two attacks. Since in... he started taking the medication. So ah. he's been very healthy. Oh, they're at least they're close by. Yeah. The worst. So he used to get like two a day. And now he's got two in two weeks, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, it's, been it's been really working well. Yeah. Poor guy, though. Oh, oh no, oh. they converted them. Oh, ah! I forgot. They come after me. They just have to touch them, even if they're mm. not wayward. The, he the head ones, yeah. Even if they're in the lineup, so yep. you have to keep them away. You have to away. keep them really far away. I think cats just don't like having anything covering them unless it's by choice, such as burrowing. Yeah, very true. He yeah. just, he, you can't tell him it's for his own good. That's the problem with pets. Yeah. It's like, dude, oh, we're not trying to kill you. Like, <laughs> we're trying to make it better so you don't have asthma attacks. Yeah. But you can't tell him that. He just, he gets really fearful and he gets in the sink. Oh, that's yeah. That's his, that's his safe space. And we have to give him his asthma inhaler in the sink. But he, he'll curl up in our in our bathroom sink. Yeah, which oh. makes it easy to give it to him. <laughs> yeah, but it just is, it's kind of sad. So sad. It's so sad. It's just sitting there. Mew. Like curled up, like hunched Mew. over in the sink. Yeah. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. A little better. Poor guy. Yeah, you're doing well. Get it. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it. Boom. Oh. Come here. Doesn't blow up the guys. That's no, good. No, thank goodness. <laughs> be, that would be bad. Very bad. There's the, oh, right here. Cool. Ah. No. No. Oh, I'd like that. I know that. Oh, oh, <gasps> no, no. Oh, oh I just no. missed. Go, go, go. Uh, get it, we'll get take it, get care it. care of that. Nice. Good job. Yeah, cats don't like doing whatever you are going to do to them. <laughs> yes. They like doing their own thing. Mm. Okay, now which is it? Okay. Oh, you don't die, do you? You shoot them. Yeah, you have to shoot them. And gone. Is that it? Yep. Oh. oh, no, it's not it. Oh, it's another wave of them. So you can't die. You can be like right in the way of yeah. them. Yeah. You, you have to down. kind of figure out where they come down from and nice. Okay, coming this way. Yep. Nice. I didn't get them all because I was a little still pretty good. You lost three, but that's fine. There we go. It's a little stunned at the beginning of the wave. Mm -hmm. The bonus wave, but I'll get it next time. Funny they go back in hiding. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Oh. Hey. Psst. No. Bratwursts. <laughs> do not chew the bratwursts. He was in the chat today. Oh, Don't let him see. Oh, you're bad. <laughs> see you do that. No, that was bad, kittens. Why is he chewing on that? I don't know. He never chews on that. Oh. He's like, they're tasty. Nope. Nope. Bad. Nope. You better cry. Yeah. What Man. are you doing? Don't make me do what I don't want to do. What are you doing? Getting better. What are you doing? You can't go outside the row from where they start. Yeah, you can't go to the edges. No, not right to the edges. Okay, your turn. I have oh. to watch the cat because you are not watching the cat. He was well, 
no. gladly, happily chewing no, on the cable. No, you caught him just as he did it. Look at him. Nope, nope. Hide these. Precious. Yeah, Nostalgic says, I've been get, having to give one of our cats medicine with a syringe in the mouth. I need to hold her body still and hold her mouth open and press the syringe. I really need three arms. Yes, it helps to have a second person. <laughs> Syringes I don't find too bad because you just get in there, they go, ah, and you go, squish, and it's done. And they can't spit it out. Cats can't yeah. spit. Cats can barely cough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Things just go in. Like when they're, when they're like eating things off the floor, which they do all the time, they just, they can't spit it out. They just go, nom, 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 nom. It just goes in more and more and more. Bad. Cats are so bad. It's so cute and fluffy. <laughs> Aren't you? Bad, but cute and fluffy. Could've waited, could've waited. Could I? Yeah, that's well, dangerous though. Ah, uh, get him, get him. Brain's coming. Brain's got him. No, oh, no. I got a sh no, Brain's got you. Oh, no. <laughs> Is the Time Bandit rank based on Time Bandit's movie or the Time Bandit game for the Atari ST? Good question. It doesn't actually like show all the different ranks you can get in the manual, so. I wouldn't be able to answer that, and I don't know about enough about either of those things to either give you give you an answer on that either. Bullets. Or so, yeah, what are they? Where are they coming from? I don't know. Thought she cleared the board. I thought so too. So we're heading off for a tiny vacation soon. Yeah. We'll be back. Actually, the next show back is um, Atari Age Day. Um, so, a big show to send us off, and a big show when we come back. It gives me time to prepare for Atari Age Day as well. Oh, that uh, exclusive world debut? Is that what it said? I made that in like 15 minutes before the show. I was like, oh, I should do something. I, I've been meaning to make something for that. Um, turned out, oh my god. <gasps> oh. I thought, I can't touch them at all. No, no, they can't touch them. Yeah. So meaning and to worse. Ah, uh, right into his shot. Oh, he ah! just survived by the board reset. There's another guy. Yeah, I've been meaning to make an exclusive world debut um, intro for a long time. I'm like, oh, I've got a couple minutes. Oh, and I had a good God. idea of what to do. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Shoot no. him. Oh, what? Oh, did he die because you shot him? I shot him. Okay. Oh, ah, you survived! No, oh, you're still alive! Fast. No, I'm just... This whole thing shifted in my oh. lap, so... I couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with it? No. It Too all, much. It all just kind of shifted, and then I wasn't moving. Hey, 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 you hey, start hey. hitting the di diagonals, and it's like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't give you much of a... Um, a an advantage to shoot those while they come out. You get a couple, but in the scheme of things, when there's like, I don't know how many, 20? Doesn't, doesn't do much. Explode! Oh my god. <laughs> it's like right beside him. There is a slight time delay to the explosion. Yeah, so, so you still have to be careful. Uh, get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? No! Oh See? my god! It disappeared! You can't wait on them. Oh, did I not get it? I no. did. Oh. No, you didn't. It oh. disappears if you wait too long. So I should just get it. Yes! Just get it. Don't wait. <laughs> the guys hide behind you when, um, which is good. <gasps> oh, oh. God. Um, yeah, when, when, you're, you're, at, when, when you're, you're not still, moving. Yeah. They, they don't trail behind. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <gasps> oh, my God. Come on. Oh, big trail. I'm in here right away. Oh! <gasps> you lost a life, but that's okay. Mm. Just for that. Yeah. Only got <laughs> one. Only got two of them. It does get almost as hectic as Robotron. Mm. 
And the fact that you are confined to the grid makes it somewhat harder than Robotron mm -hmm. because you can only go in certain directions and you can't stop. Yeah. Happy Man TV asked, did ZPH just get this game recently? Recent-ish. Yeah. yeah. So whatever episode... The physical game. We played yeah. this before, but yeah. yeah, the physical game. Whatever episode I unboxed last from Atari Age is when mm. I got it. So, I don't know, a month ago or so? Maybe? But yeah, that's why we're playing it again, because um, I bought... Thank you, Neo, Neo Media 1974. Evening. Shot em. Thank you oh, for subscribing cool. for seven months. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Glad you are continuing to enjoy the show. Restart. That was terrible. <laughs> that tortures me. That screen. McFly. <laughs> I like McFly. Oh, it's all, now we know what it is. It's all time travel uh, references. related references. Yeah. yeah. I remembered that from last time now. Have a good night, Ivory Tower Collections. Have a good night. Enjoy your beer. Or after effects of beer. <laughs> <laughs> One good thing about being on the West Coast mm. is that you get to experience all the East Coast things early. The Very bad true. thing is that it's really late for other people when you're trying to coordinate with them. Oh, yeah. So or when trying you, to call someone in the evening. Ugh. So you have to phone them at, like, early in the yeah. day. Yeah. To, to get them at any reasonable time. Or they're, time. like, in bed. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's like, oh, sorry, did I wake you up? Yeah, yeah it's 1 a.m. here. Yeah. It's like, well, sorry. I live on the West Coast. But, like, for... Oh, my God. For, like, um, New Year's? It's mm. great. You get to see New Year's over and over and over again throughout the whole of uh, U.S. and Canada because it's still like 9 p.m. here <laughs> when East Coast hits uh, mm -hmm. midnight. That's why the Oscars are always at 4 in the afternoon. Yeah, it's like, why is this so early? It's early because it is. Yep. But it's over quick. Like, like early. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, you die. Smoosh. Squid! Let's try and get that guy. Oh, gotta get. Gotta away stay from away. The you have to stay away from the uh, the brains too, because they will. Do they shoot? Fa they do shoot faster. I think they do. Because another guy just shot, and it was nowhere near the speed of the brain shots. Uh, the the squid also shoot really fast. Mm, do they? Yeah. They just explode. Oh, they got that thing. Come on. Oh no. No. No, no. Oh, too no. Many. It's just too many. It's too risky. There's a, guy. There's a guy in there. Nice. Good job. Yay. Getting a, maybe a bit better. Oh, challenge time. Where are they coming in? Come on. Nice. Okay. Have a good night, Chelsea. Don't you know? Good night. Not so bad now. But I mean, that's just the first one. Mm -hmm. Just like Galaga first one, not too bad. The mm -hmm. other ones are like, oh my god, it's random. They're going all over the place. You can't figure out the pattern. Sorry, 1974 says, when does this come out? I believe it has been out for a while. 2016. It's available in the Atari Age store. Yes, it is. Yes, and a very, very fun game. Oh, it's so good. It's a must buy for, um, for 7800. But it's a new cartridge to us, so. Yeah. yeah, new to us. That's why we're playing it on the show. <gasps> oh, no. Mm, mm, mm. Out that area. I'll do it this way. Okay, dude, come on out. What's going on? I'm shooting. I think I'm shooting in, be like when I'm moving. Mm. I think you have to shoot after you've stopped. Mm -hmm. Or hold you do. it. You can hold it. 
And then it'll shoot Ooh, those guys once you run stopped. really fast. Yeah. Pretty neat. Like literally running. Yeah. I love the animation. Yeah. It's really great. Great job, Revenge. Oh. Yeah. Boom. And the graphics are great with the explosions very, very and the good. colorful. Nope. <laughs> Got one. Never walk into their line of fire. Just don't. Especially not that close. When you're far away, you can. Because it's not too bad. Ooh, it's going to be up there, and it's just surrounded. Oh, I don't think you have a chance, guy. <gasps> oh, chance. no! He's converted! No! Yeah, sorry. Got to put you, put you down. Oh. Put you out of your misery. Oh, no. There he is. Get him! I think it's a different yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, perfect. Nice. Oh, it's coming up at the top. I find the ones at the top are hard to get to because you start at the bottom. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes. I tend to stick around the bottom and it's fine to... Yeah. I knew it, I knew it. I get knew it, it, get it quick, get it quick. Oh. And I'm fully recharged with bullets. Yeah, which is die, good so. when you die, yeah. Everything. Yeah. They run around so fast, those dudes. And shoot pretty fast, too. They seem to be faster on the um, oh. hor uh, horizontal instead of the vertical. Yep. Nice. Level five. Yeah, wow, getting good, there. Good stuff. Getting better. Okay, where are you coming? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. What? Oh, they're all on the edges. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. So hard. I'm sure you can, like, memorize their paths? Because it seems like there's always one time where they run a, run a row, but you'd have to memorize. It's like eight of them. We got thirty-six, though. Not That's pretty good. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I think this might be my last level. It's getting really hard. Oh come on! And you have to kind of hold it. Oh, just missed it. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh, 7,400. That was good. That was a good round. I'm just going to verify that this did come out in 2016. It did say it at the beginning. 2016. Yeah. Yeah, retail. Yeah. Did I miss... Time Cop. Anything this evening? Well, you missed Money Funsters. <laughs> is, is that facetious? Release? It might be. <laughs> yes. Uh, Money Funsters' brand new game was revealed earlier in the show, so rewind and enjoy. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Okay, your turn. Okay. And I'll probably play one more after, after this. You. Yeah. I always forget to shoot him. It doesn't give them. It's a tiny bonus because you're shooting like the easiest guys on the whole board. I didn't go over the answers. Oh, come on. So, 75% uh, of the people watch this on the computer, which I thought they would. Uh, then the next one was 15% on the phone or tablet. I didn't think that would actually be that high. Uh, then 10% of people watch it on the TV. So, not terribly surprising. That's for the poll. It's gone off the screen. Last episode, it was on forever, and we had to turn it off. This time, it's like, nah, it's gone. Oh, God. 
Wish you could put a time out. A pain in the ass. Sorry. <laughs> no, it slides off my lap, so it's so big. How do the people TV people chat? Um, if you cast it from your phone or tablet, um, you can type in your phone, and like the chats on your phone and the the videos on your on your TV. And I've done that before. My iPhone, lol. <laughs> Neo Media, yeah. And Cafe Man watches on tablet. Mm. Oh, yeah. So I've been doing lots of recording today. Yeah. Because Darcy was here earlier, actually. And we did a two and a half hour recording for his, uh, for his channel. Thing? Yeah. For his YouTube channel. Um, it's just about as niche as this one is. <laughs> Maybe quite, not quite as niche, but well. he does. Um, Oh. Electric boating conversion right now. Well, that's what he's doing. That's he's converting. It. Oh. It's like you're trying to go left and it goes down. Yeah, I'm I need watch my. The I need my. I need my thing. Okay. It's really pissing me off now. <laughs> <laughs> you're a visor. So we were recording like kind of commentary for his, uh, for a bunch of recordings that he had done. He's gonna overlay that, um, like video commentary. And we're gonna be like in the top little corner and he'll be putting uh, his videos, video recordings under, underneath of us. I don't know when that's gonna come out. First time I've been on his channel actually. Hey, stop banging the walls. <laughs> Yeah, we watch it on the TV. Yeah, we watch all of our... We don't watch... We watch some, like, one thing live, usually. But, um, not too often live. Usually recorded. We watch a lot on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of YouTube. Oh, that guy hasn't even come out yet. Oh, there's still guys. Okay. Oh, did I get it? Yeah. No, no we didn't flash 400 did for it? that. No. Oh, no. You really have to go to the top. Mm. I think the tendency would be to be along the bottom the whole time, like everybody's, because mm -hmm. they don't stand near the bottom. Well, nothing comes out from the bottom. Yeah. So you have an advantage there, but obviously when... Right. The... What? Oh. That brain guy. Causing trouble. No, I... St I can't stand in any one place too long. Or you have to really watch when you are. Oh, it didn't go down! I went to the right! Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a terrible game. I'm gonna have to play it again after you. Bad. Bad this time. Mimia says it's quiet in the chat tonight. It was more it was active, before. active with the other game. I think a lot of people had to leave, so yeah. it's getting late. <laughs> Late on a Friday. Yeah. Everybody in, in the weather's getting better. Oh, it is. That's the issue. It is. People are like, ah, oh, we're going to go out on a Friday it's night. Nice. Yeah. Uh, people are allowed to go places now. Good job. Know. Let's get into the issue here. Oh, where are they coming now? Mike 25. Happy Friday. Sorry I got on late. Rainy here in Philly. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Cheers. Happy weekend. Oh, it's too hard to shoot mm. them when you're at the top because you you can't time them very well. Mm. So eh, it's, it's it's not really worth going for. If you shoot one, that's fine, but <laughs> it's been rainy, chilly, and windy here too. Perfect night to stay in and watch you play. Yeah, that's been yeah. what it's been off and on here. But it was actually actually really nice it was today. it was nice. It's supposed to rain for like weeks and weeks because it's that's... you know a rainforest here, <laughs> um, and it's the winter still. Uh, it's not quite quite winter. summer yet. Winter. Well, it's like 15 degrees. It's out winter, today. and then we get like a little bit of summer, and then no, it's no, winter no. again. Because winter is basically just raining. 
Um, this looks good. It's Ro Robotron sequel. No, uh, well, Time Salvo. Time Salvo. It, it has a lot of Robotron elements. Yes, and characters. For sure, the characters are, are and, pulled. And they that. act like Robotron. Yeah. Characters. Yeah. It's very cool. Really good yeah. twist. Yeah. Psst, psst, psst. Yeah. He's eating. Get. What are you doing? It's killing me. Can you watch the kitty when I'm not? Watch him. Uh, I didn't even realize he was up there. You gotta watch that cat. He needs it. He needs a treat time. If anyone's out there, <laughs> yeah. If calm you've him got down. Some bits. Yeah. If you got some bits, you would like to Wasting get rid of. Wasting my lives on it. Oh no. That's distracting me. <laughs> oh, blame the kitty. Well, fully, because he's yeah. he sits on the app and chews the video cables. Yeah. You do need to get Ned Ladd and controller. They're oh, wonderful. so good. So so good. Yeah, they're really good. That darn cat. Ah, darn cat. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, cat. <laughs> James would I have... wouldn't have to buy so many cables. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right into it. I, you can't stop yourself. Like, you can't stop midway yeah. and reverse. See if this helps me at all. It that may, darn cat. It may what not. is that from? That darn cat. Oh, it's a movie, isn't it? Wasn't it's it? there a movie, like that a, darn cat? It's probably like a Disney movie from oh, the 70s. Oh, yes, exactly. On the, the Sounds like wonderful it. world of Disney on a Sunday. Yeah. Some cheapo movie where the cat talks or something. <laughs> yeah. That darn cat. It is. It is. It I is. told you. It's a Walt Disney movie. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, called it. Oh, my goodness. You probably watched it at some point in your childhood. Oh, probably. Let's read about it. I'm sure it was terrible. Is it, was it a talking cat? I bet it was a talking cat. A Siamese cat picks up the only clue to a bank robbery when a kidnapped bank clerk slips a wristwatch around his neck. I definitely saw this. Oh, me too. The cat then finds himself being followed by FBI agent Zeke Kelso, who is given the runaround in an effort to lead him to the villains. December 2nd, 1965. It, it does sound like a 60s kids movie. Ah. Starring Roddy McDowell. Really? Dean, Dean Jones and Haley, no. Haley Mills. Roddy yeah. McDowell? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That darn cat. I wonder if I can get a sample no. of some saying somebody saying that darn cat from the oh. from the movie. It got killed Weird. by the zombie. Yeah, but it exploded and it did kill it. Oh. I thought it would, but it didn't. Not to be confused with the cat from outer space. Oh, yes, I remember that one too. I don't know that one. Let me look up that one. That's got to be another 60s. Is there a, a run of cat insane. movies? Oh, for sure. 1978. <laughs> the tagline, Mysterious visitor with unknown powers on our planet for supplies. A six pack of tuna? Oh, God, that sounds about right. And Walt Disney as well. Oh, yes. No, no. All, they're all wonderful World of Disney uh, <laughs> movies, for sure. A UFO makes an emergency landing on Earth and is taken into custody by the United States government. The occupant of the flying saucer turns out to be a strange cat-like alien. <sighs> I don't think the other one uh, talked. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. No, the other one didn't talk. Ah! This one's an alien, so it obviously did talk. It's probably a 2022 <sighs> remake. That effing cat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like, probably every kid of that era watched Disney every Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Because it was, like, the only thing that kids can watch on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. So we probably all saw all of these movies multiple times. Mm -hmm. And they were repeated over and over oh, and over yes. again. Like it was never the same. It's like, not new. They None were all were 70s, new. like in the 80s and 90s, I swear. Yep. Well, maybe not the 90s, but definitely hey, the 80s, it. 60s and 70s films. Yep. It's so funny. Yeah. Always like a decade like behind. Escape from Witch Mountain. Oh, over like and over. <laughs> over and over. Oh my God. <laughs> Love their, they love their UFOs and aliens. Oh yeah, that was the seventies. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh really? When I got Disney Plus, I rewatched all those sixties and seventies. They have them on Disney Plus. Really? Are they terrible? Oh, that actually kind of 
endears Disney Plus to me a little bit Ugh. more because I, I, I uh, at one point was like going, oh, I'll do the free, I'll, I'll, I'll sign on for free for a month and cancel it. For what? What, what are you going to watch? I, I haven't seen any of the Avengers films, so I kind of do want to see them at some point. But there's oh, um, what we do Marvel in Shadows. Um, they have the TV series. I believe that's on Disney Plus. Really? I could be wrong. I could oh. be wrong about that. But there are a few. I think there. it's on Die Disney Plus. Thing. Maybe it's not. Anyway. Dexter Riley films. Dexter Riley. I don't know that one. I don't know the name, but I'm I'm guessing I probably know the films. Probably. Mm. Buried deep in our subconscious. Mm -hmm. Come on, James. They're only terrible if you weren't living during the <laughs> Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar. Yeah. Right. There's, there's, there are a lot of excellent films, and like they're usually wonderful stories. Usually. Mm, yeah. Um, Pixar. Okay. Pixar is great. That. Yeah. No, another bad game. I think I'm gonna have to retire after oh, this one. Oh no. <laughs> it's just not yeah, working out. Not, I had a good you're run. Not, you're not gonna have your 7200 this time, I don't think. No. No. I didn't make it to 7800. <laughs> just 7200. <laughs> Oh, mixing up sadness. the mixing up the consoles. Yeah. Um, Come on, step into my line of fire. Do it. Hey, don't go wandering off. <gasps> oh, why oh did my you do god! That? Then it goes dark. Oh no! And it's game no. over. Just terrible. Strongest man in the world is another Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Are you all one more? Or are you done? No, I'm done. I'm good, okay. I think. Super yeah. fun game. Very, very, very It's a must-buy Wild Stallion. I think that's random. Oh, Smitty B did a marathon of Herbie films. Oh, when God. They Can, oh, Herbie God. the love bug. Herbie. Those films. Wow. They're just like, let's make this anthropomorphic. Let's make this anthropomorphic. <laughs> yes. Let's make a talking cat. Let's make another movie about a talking cat. <laughs> So, uh, let's see what's coming up on the show. Oh, that's very large. Ah, uh, still pretty large. Okay. So, yeah, we played Muddy Vision Secret Homebrew, mm -hmm. which is RT, which is a port of Hero. So, if you didn't see that, rewind, rewatch it. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome for the 7800. Um, and then we played Time Salvo, which is incredible we have the retail box copy here definitely pick it up if you're into shooters and you have a 7800 mm -hmm. um we're going to be going on a short break and then we'll be back mm -hmm. for a huge event atari mm -hmm. age day 2022 mm -hmm. with just oodles of developers we'll be doing tons of unboxing just like we did today except many many more boxes of all the new atari age games mm -hmm that we've been anticipating and playing through the year and, you know, looking at the different iterations of it. So now we finally get to look at the box and the manual and the cartridge and talk to the developers live on the show. And uh, we'll be talking with Al as well and uh, ask him uh, about uh, everything going on in Atari Age and what's coming up. And probably a little bit about PRGE as well, because we'll mm. be there as well, <laughs> live broadcasting from PRGE mm -hmm. in November. Yeah. October? Yeah. I can't remember. Somewhere around there. Yep. I'm excited. That's going to be yep. a good time. It will be. Been missing it for two years. Three years. One, two, three years. Mm. 2019 mm -hmm. was the last time. Oh, my God. Um, and probably the n next thing after that, nothing's scheduled, but we'll be filling them in as we go. Probably be playing ZPH the game scheduling that mm. shortly after uh in the next couple weeks after atari age day 2022 um lots of stuff coming up uh old style we're gonna have an interview with old style nice. we're gonna have a interview with todd fermansky as well coming up uh old style with his the final exclusive final version of mario brothers and maybe one or two other games that he's been working on mm -hmm. secret games mm -hmm. Um, and the exclusive world premiere of Harpy's Curse from Todd Fermansky. And so much stuff. Elevator Action exclusive world premiere. A Champ Game Secret Homebrew exclusive world premiere later on in the year. Uh, I'll be doing another Jaguar Day. Uh, with uh, probably just rebooted. Because that and that are multi 
there's like a bunch of games on one cartridge. Mm -hmm. uh, so just rebooted would fill a whole show for okay. sure. So I'm gonna have to push that to another one. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one too. Multiplayer marathon. Um, I'm working on a fifth, my 5200 right now upstairs. Mm -hmm. It's not going well, but <laughs> uh, I've there got three. There was a lot of, of swearing, and a, uh, yeah, I've got three of them to destroy. So no, we'll see how that goes. One of them hopefully will. Yeah, that one's just uh, no, it's not no, working so far. But sad. we'll we'll I'll get it going. Yeah. And later on in the year, Atari 2600's 45th birthday marathon, where we play every single classic Atari game nice. over many weeks. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a little bit crazy. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. tonight and uh, watching us play some 7800 games. So much fun. Cafe Man 2D, Smitty B, RC70, e, Nostalgic, Huge yes. Ass, Mad Mike. Neo Media. Chelsea Noni Mao. Thank you for saying that. Atari 1974. <laughs> Ivory Tower Collections. Metal Lunar 7. Mm -hmm. Mike Soul. Mm -hmm. Muddy Funster, of course, for allowing us to debut RT. Um, Ivory Tower Collections. In Splendid there. Nut. Chaser Cat Games. Karakak. Karakak, that's a newish. Nathan name. Strum, resubscribe. Yep, Nathan Strum. Vitoko is in there, Es Ramirez, lots of people, lots of chatters, lots of Rendered people Ghost. Daryl 1970, uh, I feel like we're getting close to the top, the top there. Excellent. So many. Yeah. Well, thanks Thank for joining us. Yes. We will, oh, let's go back to the main, main thing. Yeah. We will be back on the 21st, yes. May 21st for a big, massive Huge event. It's at noon. Yep. It's on a Saturday. Mark your calendars. You want to be there mm -hmm. live to talk to all the developers. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so excited. Atari will be there. Atari Tanya the cat. will be there. Yes. I'll be there. Atari the cat. Atari the cat. Yep. Lots of developers will be there. Um, yeah. So I think that's it mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. for now. And we'll be back in a little while. So I don't know. Watch repeats. Get out there in the sun until then. Um, it's on the AVC online website already. Thank okay, you for excellent. scheduling it. Yeah. And uh, we will see you on the 21st. Yes. See you then. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon.